another year. We are currently six minutes from Mondaggy. Uh, just stopped up, did a last minute bit of bike prep. Still always a little bit more to go, but I'm um, gonna do that back at Dad's motel. Um, we're gonna meet the boys at the motel, but uh, Dad and Dean, the mechanic, uh, just spoke to them and they're just leaving the pub. So they're, uh, they're getting a few last minute supplies from the shops and stuff for us, just some rags and whatever, but Michaela and I are heading to the track. We're gonna throw up the tent and whatever, try to sneak into the pro pits like we do, and um, yeah, kick this season off right. Okay, sign on day. We're just finishing up the bike prep. Dad and Dean putting on some stockings on the radiator fins just so we don't get the thing too hot. Uh, we just finished putting some race fuel in. That shout out to Luke and Malachi. Hooked us up with some ETS race fuel for the weekend. Fit up, just a fresh clutch, just all the standard stuff before race day. We've got some Maxxis MXST on the front. We've got the SM on the rear, ready for the deep one daggy dirt. But I'm just about to go for a run, uh, just to loosen the body up a little bit before the day starts. We got photo shoots. Um, every year at National they do like a bit of a headshot thing that they can use on TV if hopefully I'm up front enough that they actually get to use that this year. Um, and got some stuff we're gonna shoot, just set up the site and do all that sort of thing for the day, but gonna get it all started. Boys are doing some last minute bike work. What's that? Is this the new toy? Yeah. <laughs> right, track walk done for another year round one there's really not a ton to take out of track walk just because it's basically it's all flat you don't know what they're going to do tonight with track prep with water and everything but i uh for now it just looks a little bit drier than normal because they've had so much like it's hot it's never hot in victoria but it's actually hot here but it looks good i always like one doggy the track looks sick it's just cool to come back to a national again because it just it feels like a big deal like you got the the flags and the banners and everything around so i'm just excited to get into it um feel super organized for this round which is really cool and yeah i'm just going to go do briefing go through all the normal stuff hang out chilled tonight and um yeah just start this year strong feeling? Nervous. Are ya? Yeah. Feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good start. That's alright. do that beforehand because I it took me so long to learn it. I kept wheeling and going over ups. It was too far. You wheelied off the start too. It's so <laughs> <laughs> no. Well at least you know you can get the whole shot then if she's fast. Oh it's good. It's fast. Yeah. There's no issue with that. Yeah. Because they're obviously finding that wide line and then cutting across the ruts and yeah, they're just not following the rut. They're going they're out, just the outside of it where there's none and then just inside of it. They're riding they're the track the like there's not a single rut out there and they're sweeping. They're going and across they, bumps. They're yeah. going across the ruts, going across the bumps. They're making their own track. Yeah. Like it's, that's literally how it looked like they were riding it. Yeah. So practice and qualifying's done. Uh, we missed out on Super Bowl. We were 12th. I think a second off 10th to get into it. Um, but I rode good. Like I was happy with how I rode. Um, reflected on it and did find a couple spots where I could have done better. Just a little bit more aggression, which is what we've been working on. But it's just putting it into practice in the race is another thing. 
Um, but still, we're in a good spot. The bike felt pretty good. We're going to make a couple changes. Um, we want to drop the forks back through, lift that front end up a little bit. It's not really sand here in Wontaggi, like a lot of people call it sand. I don't really see it as a sand track, but still it does have a bit of a softer base and some nice long ruts. So we're just going to lift that front up to help it get through there a little bit. Um, went out and we watched MX2, watched um, the MX1 guys in Super Bowl, and holy shit, Webster and Beaton were impressive. I don't think Webster even got second, he was third or something, but Beaton put in a 143, and I think Todd Waters did a 150. It was just insane. Um, and watching it, they're just placing themselves right in the base of the rut, and just balancing the bike so good, not getting high-sided, not getting underneath and getting wheel spin, and then attacking, like any time they're sort of like in that rut, they're not worried about trying to follow the rut, whereas I'm like, it is really deep here today and I'm not trying to piece it together, but they're friggin' going for it. So um, it was good to watch actually, just to sort of show me like what's possible on this track. Cause in your own head, you see how rough it is and gnarly it is. And I'm sort of thinking like, oh, this is how fast you can go on this track. And they basically just blew that out of, that out of my mind. And it's like, okay, no, you can go a hell of a lot faster. So. It was good to see. So the tactic for Moto1, um, get down there nice and early to check out the gates, um, make sure that I can find a good rut. And with how good the bike feels, it feels super fast right now. I nailed my practice starts. I know I can get a good start. Um, we made a couple changes and man, it made a difference to how fast the bike was. So we cut out the mesh in the um, air filter cage so it could breathe a little bit better. Um, we put some ETS race fuel in there and we put a fresh HGS pipe on the back, like tailpipes, and just, oh, and a new clutch, and between those few things, the bike felt like an absolute rocket. It was like hard to keep the front wheel down, so I'm confident that if I nail the start, I can get a start, which I've said on here before, um, and I said the same thing before QMP last year when I pulled the whole shot, I was like, I feel like I'm confident if I get the start, my bike's capable of getting me there, which I hadn't really had before, and I feel the same way today, so. Um, yeah, we'll get that gate and then from there if I can pull that start um, Just effort 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 if you watch the last video like I said, that's the word effort intensity that many times I just need to do that in the race and Remember that it's 25 minutes and it's like if I can come in and throw up and whatever after the race It's fine. I just need to put in a hundred percent effort while I'm out there um, And just ride to my capability, but anyway, I'll stop talking. I'm just gonna chill out for another little bit stretch Get geared up and we'll get after it. The clutch is going to last better with you. Yeah, yeah.
Brad? You good? How was that for a sec? I don't know what you got, but it looks solid. In the air, it was like if I didn't hold the throttle on, it would die. But oh, it all looks tight. Yeah, right. And the clutch was really weird from the start. So we'll drop the oil. Yep. Like yep. we'll wash it up, obviously. Drop yep. the oil. Slipping? Like I was adjusting it Heaps. in the air right from the, like, I did it in second turn. Um, that's good. You rode good, butt, mate. Yeah, you looked yeah. some smart lines. Which ten was felt great. terrible. 10, was it? it like, I really didn't feel good, eh? Like, I was sort of like, ah. Uh, and maybe, like, obviously, a track's tough for me to get P10. So everyone probably doesn't feel great, but I really felt bad. You stayed on the lead line. Yeah. You jumped down the gate, you were like half a wheel in front of the oh, field. I nailed it. What happened? And then, and then like, you must have lost it. Like, yeah, I don't know exactly. I'll have to hit you again to start. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I, don't, I was like, I got the whole shot, and then I just blew it immediately. It I did like, the same thing on the practice start. Yeah. I'll have to watch it to see what I'm doing. Maybe you are. I must have went warm and then grab again, yeah. Went from like the best start to like terrible. <laughs> but you did very well on that first lap. I reckon he passed 12 in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, everyone bunched up and you just kept riding around the outside. Looks like maybe he's got it, he jumped so good. Yeah. Just that one little crash. Man, they made that track brutal. Yeah. Like I side saw... lap, it was like, oh my god. This is gonna be gnarly because they just soaked it. I think it might have been Nav I saw after the sight lap. Yeah. Head to toe covered in mud. Like I couldn't yeah. even like recognize. Yeah, it was like Sego was next to me on the start. And he just like he pulled into his gate and he's like, what the f <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to make the Joel Evans YouTube here. Yeah. I'm only eight spots behind in that race. I'm coming for him. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> the vet experience is coming. What do you reckon of that one? Oh. How was yeah. the first lap, man? Holy shit. Oh, I don't remember the first lap. <laughs> My memory's gone. Oh, people going everywhere because they ripped it all and watered the hell out of it. But it's like all the edges underneath were still there. Yeah. And there's just Gnarly. someone would just be here, then they just go that way. <laughs> all in all, my job. Top yeah. Good start to the season. The board, I was like, no way. You didn't. I, I, I was honestly, almost not gonna if you rode seventeenth, I would have been like, yeah. I was almost not gonna put it because I thought you you would, thought you would be buried and you'd push harder, but I was like, I don't want you to overcook it. Do too much. So I was yeah. like, I'll give him the thing and you'll know where he's at. Yeah. Um, where did you have those gloves? Where are they? Side there. Right, uh, gearing up Moto 1, Moto 2 now. Um, Moto 1, it was solid, like the result was good. I got 10th. I would have had no idea halfway through the Moto, Dean put on the board 10th, or towards the end of the Moto, put P10. And I honestly thought I would have been closer to 20 than 10. Um, I had a bad start. Well, I nailed the start and then blew it just out of the gate. I don't really know what happened. I think I grabbed clutch, um, so got to be wary of that this time. And then, um, yeah, so put me pretty well mid-pack for the uh, start. Pretty good in the first few turns, first lap. Worked my way through, passed a few people, just smart, because the track was just rogue. Like, they hammered it with water and ripped it and stuff. So, um, people were going everywhere, but um, got that sorted. And then we, um, the rest of the motor, honestly, it just, it was a bit, it, it was like survival, it sort of felt like out there. I wasn't, I was pushing as hard as I could, but I felt like I couldn't charge. The track was just super gnarly trying to, get any sort of traction because they like watered it so much and just we were on it's pretty baked out here today and it was just spinning and kicking and I just didn't feel good but um obviously no one else felt good either for me to come through and get 10. Um, but if I can feel a little bit better in this one I made a fork change so we went slower for the first motor on the forks um, I just made a fork change and went faster on the rebound I want to try that in sight lap but I'm going to have Dean ready with the um with the screwdriver just in case it's no good um, but yeah so we'll, we're just going to go out and see how we go
rod. Are you downshifting a little early where it's getting compression lock up a little? And it's considering that while I was riding to try to figure it out and I started going up and it was better. But I think it's as well like not being strong right from whatever the last obstacle is. Like I sort of land weak off the last whoop or the jump or whatever and then I like want to take my time and set up rather than just being there ready to go. And then when you've got a national track, it's like when you land off that bump, it kicks yeah. or that last whoop. It's like there's something there. You don't have time to set up. Like I get caught out in a weak spot all the time. Did Whereas, you feel like you gash yourself more in that motor at the start of it than you have in the past? Just because you picked that intensity up that little more? I think so, yeah. But I didn't feel too bad until I crashed. Yeah. And then when, it, when I crashed and picked the bike up, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I was very tired. You had that one like, yeah. Dry, shitty turn after the pit board area. Oh, yeah. You like push front and you're ride and throw, ride throw, and your legs come <laughs> off and you just saved it. So that was pretty early, hey. That was like second lap or something. Down. Nah, the one at the back and you do the right, then that table. Yeah, yeah. I come in there and like the oh, rut starts degree. super early, yeah, on the 90. Okay. Yeah. And I was just like going ping, 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 ping with the front for ages. Yeah. And then just must hit the last one and it's just like, yeah, yeah threw me down. A pretty decent. I was a pretty high speed crash actually. Yeah, well, that's I like yeah, yeah. I hit the ground and like flipped and rolled. Yeah. They go for it off the start, eh? Like that top ten just sent. Did you there. just like lose that few yeah. spots off the start? Just like I just I should have just stayed you there. You know that though. They just blew yeah. past me. Like they're just so aggressive. You know that. Yeah. It surprised you, they did it. Yeah, it just surprised me like how aggressive they are. But you were there, you didn't let it go. That's the difference. Like there's a lot of times where it's like, oh, they, they just went for it and I just had nothing for them. But you actually were right there and it wasn't for one lap. What, until you fell, what was it? a fair few laps. Like you did a fair few laps with it. Pretty easy, right?